Hey guys, welcome to this video by Simply Learn. In today's session, we're going to learn all about Node.js. So without further ado, let's begin and look at what's in store for us. First up, we'll understand what exactly Node.js is. Then we'll understand the necessity of Node.js. Then we'll learn about some of the parts of Node.js, Node.js Express Framework, Node.js Use Cases, and finally, we'll look at some of the industry trends. So what exactly is Node.js? Now consider a scenario where a user interacts with a web application. The user only interacts with the front end of the application. But there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. Now in a web application, there's a front end, a server and a database. The front end is developed using JavaScript and frameworks like Angular and React, while the server is built on Java, PHP or Node.js and the backend database that stores the data usually consists of MySQL or MongoDB. So Node.js is an open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment for running server-side applications. It is used to develop I.O. intensive web applications like video streaming sites, single page applications, online chatting applications and other web applications. It is used by large established companies and newly minted startups. Node.js was developed by Ryan Dahl in 2009 and at the same time of this session, its latest version is v13.3.0. Now that we know what Node.js is, Let's go ahead and look at why it was so prevalent in the field of web development. Here are a few points. First up, Node.js is extremely fast. Being built on Google Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine, its library is extremely fast in code execution. Node Package Manager has around 50,000 bundles for developers. So whatever functionality is required for an application can be easily imported from NPM. All APIs of Node.js library are asynchronous, that is non-blocking. It means a Node.js based server never waits for an API to return data. Node.js dramatically reduces the processing time while uploading video and audio files. It is also an open source platform and is easy for beginners for web development. The above reasons more than justify the popularity of Node.js platform and why it is being adopted by a large number of organizations and businesses today. So now moving on, let's familiarize ourselves with the parts of Node.js. Node.js consists of several components. Now let's look at them one by one. First up, we have modules. Now modules are like JavaScript libraries, which are used in a Node.js application to include a set of functions. Now we can use require function with the parenthesis to include a module in a Node.js application. Node.js application has many modules to provide basic functionality needed for a web application. Some of them could be HTTP, util, FS, URL, query string, stream, and zlib. Next up, we have console. The console module provides a simple debugging console that is similar to the JavaScript console mechanism provided by web browsers. Now the console can print messages to std out that print standard output messages and std error to print the error messages. The next component is cluster. Now Node.js is built upon the concept of single threading programming. A single instance of Node.js runs in a single thread. To take advantage of multi-core systems, the user will sometimes want to launch a cluster of Node.js processes to handle the load. A cluster can be added to an application in this way. Here's a small code for you. The next component is global. Now global objects in Node.js are available in all modules. Now these objects are functions, modules, strings, etc. Some Node.js global objects are mentioned in the table. You have dir name, that is a directory name, file name, exports, module and require. The next component is error handling. Now Node.js applications experience four types of errors. We have the standard JavaScript errors, system errors, user specific errors, and assertion errors. Now errors in Node.js are handled through exceptions. Now for example, let's handle an error that would occur when we divide a number by zero. Now this error would crash the Node.js application and so we should handle this error. Here's a small code for you. Next up, we have streaming. A stream is an abstract interface for working with streaming data in Node.js. Streams are objects that let you read data or write data continuously. There are four types of streams. First one is the readable. These are the types of streams from which data can be read. Writable, these are the types of streams to which data can be written. Duplex, these are both readable and writable streams. Lastly, we have transform. These streams can manipulate the data while it is being read or written. Moving on to the next component, Buffer. The JavaScript language has no mechanism for reading or manipulating streams of binary data. Buffer is a module that allows handling streams that contain only binary data. An empty buffer of length 10 can be created by this method. Next up, we have Domain. Domains provide a way to handle different I.O. operations as a single group. 
Domain module intercepts errors that remain unhandled. There are two types of methods that are used for intercepting these errors. Firstly, we have internal binding. In this case, the error emitter executes its code inside the error method. Next up is the external binding. Now here, the error emitter is explicitly added to a domain via its add method. The next component is the DNS. The DNS module enables name resolution. For example, it is used to look up the IP addresses of host names. DNS module is used to connect to a DNS server and perform name resolution by using the method dns.resolve. The DNS module is also used for performing name resolution without a network communication by using the method dns.lookup. The next component is the debugger. Node.js includes an out-of-process debugging utility accessible via a V8 inspector and built-in debugging client. This Node.js debugger is not feature-packed but supports simple inspection of code. It can be used in the terminal by using the inspect keyword before the name of the JavaScript file. In order to inspect a file, say myscript.js, you can use the following method. Now that we are familiar with all the major parts of Node.js, let's go ahead and learn about the Node.js Express framework. Express is a flexible Node.js web application framework that provides a wide set of features to develop both web and mobile applications. You can assume Express as a layer built on top of the Node.js that helps manage the server and the routes. Now let's have a quick look at some of the core features of Express framework. It is used to design single page, multi page and hybrid web applications. It allows setting up of middleware to respond to HTTP requests. It defines a routing table that is used to perform different actions based on the HTTP method and URL. It also allows dynamic rendering of HTML pages based on passing arguments to templates. Now moving on, let's take a quick example of a simple Hello World program. Now this is developed using Express Framework to gain a better understanding. Alright, first up we have the WAR Express. Now this is used to import Express Framework into our Node.js application. Now the app.get method is a callback function with parameters request and response. The request object represents the HTTP request and has properties for the request query string, parameters, body, HTTP headers, etc. The response object represents the HTTP response that an express app sends when it gets an HTTP request. Now the application will listen to the defined port which in this case is 8081 and variables host and port will contain the address and the port respectively. Lastly, we have the console.log which is used to show the address and port in the command prompt. So this is what the command prompt would look like. And finally, the output is displayed on the web browser. Having learned about the express framework, now let's move on and look at the Node.js use cases. Now it is no doubt that Node stands out for its speed and intensive data exchange. So top industry leaders like NASA, PayPal, Netflix among others incorporate Node.js. First up, we have Netflix. The world's leading internet television network with over 117 million users is one of the top companies that trusted their services to Node.js. The reasons why the company chose to use Node.js were application scalability and data intensive application. Now you must be wondering what application scalability is. It's basically the potential of an application to grow in time, being able to efficiently handle more and more requests per minute. And data intensive application allows millions of people to stream Netflix simultaneously. Next up is Walmart. Now Walmart is the world's largest company by revenue with around 514 billion US dollars according to the Fortune Global 500 list in 2019. Again, the reasons why the company chose Node.js were asynchronous I.O. and efficient handling of concurrent requests. Now asynchronous I.O. which is a form of input-output processing allows other processing to continue before the transmission has finished. Node.js is able to efficiently handle concurrent requests with the use of thread pool and event queues. Uber. Uber is an American multinational ride-hailing company offering services that include peer-to-peer ride-sharing, ride-service-hailing and food delivery. The reasons why the company chose Node.js were asynchronous I.O., quick iterations and active open source community. As mentioned earlier, asynchronous I.O. permits other processing to continue before the transmission has finished. Now quick iterations. Now Node.js is continually being updated and added new features that help in further improvement in the performance of web servers. And finally, active open source community resolves many problems that an organization may face in a particular scenario. Next up, we have NASA. Now, NASA is an independent agency of the United States federal government responsible for the civilian space program as well as aeronautics and aerospace research. The reasons why the company chose Node.js were reduced access times, handling of data-intensive tasks, and the fact that the servers are active 24-7. 
Now, NASA has lots and lots of data and using Node.js has really helped them in reducing the access times. It is also continuously handling and working with large streams of data. Node.js is highly stable, which helps in keeping the server active 24-7. Next up, we have PayPal. Now, PayPal is an American company operating a worldwide online payment system that supports online money transfers as opposed to traditional methods like checks and money orders. The reasons why the company chose to use Node.js were the fact that Node.js has extremely fast build times. It allows tasks to be carried out with fewer lines of code when compared to other server technologies like Java and PHP. And Node.js, being data intensive, efficiently handles a large amount of data. Next up is Medium. Medium is a popular online publishing platform developed by Evan Williams and launched in August 2012. The main reasons why the company chose to use Node.js were A, data-driven applications. Now, these applications are ideal for being interfaced with Node.js servers. B, to run A-B tests. Now, A-B testing is essentially an experiment where two or more variants of a page are shown to users at random and statistical analysis is used to determine which variation performs better. Lastly, Node.js server maintenance is simpler than its counterparts. Moving on to the last topic of this session, industry trends. Now, Node.js developers are in demand across the globe since many companies are adopting JavaScript libraries. According to Forbes, it is one of the top 10 most in-demand jobs. According to NodeSource, the total number of Node.js downloads increased by 40% in the last one year. The use of Node.js in production has increased dramatically since its release in 2010. With early adopters such as LinkedIn, PayPal and Netflix among others, Node.js has seen an exponential increase in its use in web development. The popularity of Node.js is also accounted to JavaScript. Now, since JavaScript is the most popular language, as evident from a survey conducted by Stack Overflow in 2019, many developers can start working on Node.js library with not much of a learning curve. Node.js developers are being offered better salary options than other web technology developers. According to Payscale, the average salary of a Node.js developer in India is around 6,13,000 rupees per year. The average salary of a Node.js developer across the United States is around 105,000 US dollars per year. Alright, so with that, we've come to the end of the session. I hope this gave you a clear insight into Node.js. Thank you so much for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.